Hello, hello, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Welcome to my 12 Days of Christmas in July video series. Every day we've been opening up a new wrapped gift that was part of my 12 Days of Christmas gift box and then making a project using that gift. I'm so excited about today's project. <laughs> it is not a card, if that gives you a little clue. This is a project that I made years ago with Claire. I used to do little stamping segments on our um, our local like news talk show in the afternoon called CI Living. And so this was actually a project that I was I did on TV with Claire as a special helper. Um, and so I'm excited to share it with you again today. This is a fun one for Christmas and it has nothing to do with card making, but we do need a pair of scissors to go with our gift. Any ideas what it is? <laughs> I'm gonna pretend to open it so I can keep this one intact. Today's gift, drum roll, brrr, is the gold shimmer ribbon. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is actually a returning fave. Um, and I love it because I feel like it just goes with so many things. But it is such a festive, festive ribbon. Um, and so you can use it on anything. Of course, you can use it for making cards. Here's a card I used this ribbon on using the uh, Lights of Glow designer paper. I made this one with Steam Club and at a local um, workshop that I did last month, a little Christmas in July. We used some festive pearls and a little bit of that gold ribbon behind the card. Today's project, we're gonna use the same designer paper. Let me show you this Lights of Glow paper. Um, it is a six by six paper pack, and so you get four each of 12 different patterns. The colors are pretty traditional Christmas. We've got the cherry cobbler, soft succulent, evening evergreen, some basic black in there, and then also some white and vanilla, which is an interesting combination um, for this paper. It's a specialty paper, you can see, so we've got lots of gold foil on every single piece, then some fun three by three frames. There's just so many ways that you can use this designer paper. This is the paper we are featuring for our Vacation Stamping School event, which is this weekend. Are you guys ready for that? Leave a comment if you're planning to attend Vacation Stamping School. This is a demonstrator training event that I talked about a lot um, last month, and it's coming up this weekend finally. I'm so excited. It's a virtual event, and I've been working really hard on getting everything ready for that. So we're going to share lots of projects with... Um, the Lights of Glow designer paper and that sweet. But today I am going to show you a project using strips of the designer paper. And so you can use any designer paper, of course, to make this project. I picked this one because it had lots of gold in it and I thought it went really well with our gold ribbon. Well, I ran to the store today to pick up one of these because I don't even know if I have any in my Christmas stuff, but I didn't want to dig out my Christmas stuff. So it was easier to go to the store. Did you know they sell these at Hobby Lobby year round. <laughs> it is good to know. They also actually did have some Christmas crafting things out already, I guess for Christmas in July. It wasn't a big display, but it was just kind of back in the craft you know, area they had some Christmas crafting stuff. This is a plastic one. You can also get a glass clear bulb. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to fill the bulb with some of these papers. So I'm using a pencil. You can use any kind of um, pencil, pen, you could use um, a wooden dowel or whatever. And I'm going to just wrap that paper around the pencil to get a curly cue. And then I can kind of manipulate the curly cue and make it tighter, kind of stretch it out a little bit. What I'm looking for is a long curl of paper. And then that's just going to go right into my um, right into my Christmas bulb. And then you're just going to alternate. You can use as many colors as you want, or you could use all the same paper. You could use some specialty papers. I like the double-sided paper, though, because you do get the color and the design on both sides, and you can kind of see that through. The papers that I picked are the same color on both sides, the soft succulent and... Um, cherry cobbler has a cherry cobbler on the inside and then the evening evergreen. So we're going to fill up this whole thing with, um, with some curly Q papers. And, um, like I said, you can use any designer paper. It would be really fun to fill that with beads or buttons or other crafting things. You could have a whole series of crafting ornaments that you create with different 
with different objects. Well, I'm not going to make you suffer through watching me curl them all, but I, <laughs> I had the girls help me and we curled a whole bunch and filled the ornament. So I just put the, the top back on. So now the only thing we need to finish up this little Christmas ornament is a ribbon on top. So we're going to use that new um, that new glue, glue, that new shimmer gold ribbon, and we're going to tie a bow. So I have about 24 inches here, and I have to say, I have never really paid much attention. I've just sort of tied a bow, but I looked up a little tutorial. Um, there are so many videos, but I, I looked one up to learn how to make a double bow because that's what I wanted to put at the top. So I think I've got it ready. <laughs> hopefully, uh, hopefully I can teach it to you in the same way. I'm starting with 24 inches of ribbon. Um, this is sort of just what I used. We're going to cut off some of the tails, so you could probably go a little bit shorter than this. Um, so for the double bow, we're going to use um, two fingers, like a peace sign and a thumb. So you need three fingers to make this bow. I know some of you probably have some fancy bow makers or something like like that and you certainly can use that. I've also seen this done with a fork, um, you know, like a really large serving fork and that works as well. Um, but I don't have any of those things. I'm just going to use my fingers. So two fingers and a thumb, that's what we need. We're making a peace sign, a little V there with our fingers. And we're going to start by um, holding the tail down about um, three or four inches a ribbon. I'm holding that down with my thumb and I'm going to take the um, I'm going to take the other the top piece that's long and I'm going to wrap it around my pointer finger and then I'm going to kind of come back on top so sort of making a figure eight. I'm going to come back on top and wrap it around my middle finger and then bring it back up and again, figure eight, I'm coming back up here. So both of these loops, I got two loops there for the double bow. Both of them are on top of my finger. And then I'm gonna come straight back with this and loop again over, um, over the middle finger. And I'm gonna hold it with my thumb and then take this loose end and I'm gonna put it right between my fingers. So it's going underneath all of those loops and it, this is sort of making like a little arch or a little loop. And I'm going to come, um, I'm going to come through here and then I'm going to go underneath that loop and pull it. And now I'm making the knot for the middle. So now I'm going to take that knot and I'm going to kind of go back and forth, back and forth to tighten that up until you have it nice and tight. And then you can slide it off your fingers. And there is your perfect double bow. What? <laughs> I practiced so many times over lunch. Hopefully you could see. I'm going to I'm going to move the camera up just a little bit because I feel like I was kind of going out of camera. And let's do it one more time. Have you have you guys done this before? Maybe this is review for some of you. This was something that I, like I said, I don't normally, um, I would never make a big bow like this for a card because it's just so big, but it's perfect to go on my ornament, don't you think? Look at that. I love the way that dresses it up. Well, let's untie this and I'm going to show it to you again so that if, <laughs> um, if, it, if the camera was getting cut off, you can, you can watch again and learn how to do this. So hopefully, if you haven't done this before, hopefully um, you can follow along with your ribbon at home. Again, I'm using about 24 inches of ribbon. We're going to start, we're making a V or a peace sign with our fingers and I'm going to start by hanging down three or four inches this is going to be one side of the tail I'm going to wrap around the top finger the pointer finger I'm going to come and do sort of a figure eight and come in front of the middle finger then I'm wrapping around the middle finger and again a figure eight coming back on top so your top two should be on top of the finger I'm going straight back and wrapping around so that's not the figure eight that we did before. Straight back around. And then I'm gonna hold that with my thumb and I'm gonna take this end and put it in between the two fingers. Wrapping around, there's a little loop right here. And I'm gonna come back around and put the end through that loop from the bottom. Come on. <sighs> Get in there. Okay. Oh and then pull it, and then we're gonna do our back and forth to tighten it up. And then right off the fingers. You can use it from either side. I think I like this side better. And so you can kind of fluff it out and adjust it if you need to. 
Um, but I think, I think it turned out pretty good. Oh my gosh, look, I made a bow. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just gonna trim the ends here. And I wanna keep them kind of long because we have, um, you know, we have this ornament and so I want it to kind of hang down the sides of the ornament. So I'm gonna trim, trim those ends and then you could use hot glue to put this on. Um, my hot glue gun is actually downstairs with all the girls <laughs> and their craft stuff. So I'm gonna use some glue dots um, to put the ribbon on today. The mini glue dots from Stampin' Up! And we're going to just put the bow right on the glue dot and then lift the glue dot up. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna do two glue dots. This is kind of a bigger bow. And I'm gonna go right there on the end for our finished ornament. Now, if you wanted to, you could add another loop of ribbon to be the hanger on the tree, or you can just use a hook. I'm just gonna leave it like this for right now. So that is just one idea that you can use with the, um, with this beautiful gold ribbon, let me take these cards out so there's no glare. You can also use this ribbon on cards and gift packaging, all kinds of different ways to use the shimmer gold ribbon. Oh, I hope that you enjoyed this project idea today. Thank you so much for tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, and uh, don't forget to come back tomorrow for another gift reveal and another project using the, the one of the 12 days of Christmas gift. I'm looking for my ribbon, the whole roll. Oh, it's right here. Oh, Julie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, there's our gorgeous ribbon today. All right, guys, that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, how to make a, your own Christmas ornament with a paper and a double bow. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow with another paper crafting video. Have a good night.